Hi there, and welcome to this series of video to introduce you to this tool that we are sure is going to accelerate your workflows when using open phone. So we already covered it in the first two videos, an introduction, what is that, uh, basic usage, and also how to work with collaboration. So in this case, let's revisit the first tutorial and we're going to do it step by step. So first we're going to do the mesh, then the simulation and some other advanced features. So in this video, I'm going to dedicate it only for the mesh. So look at that here. We have the geometry. Okay. So to generate the geometry, we do some shape. So probably if you're familiar with some shape, uh, you know, all these collaborations, uh, uh, options that you have here in on shape, basically we have something similar in dice hot. So look at that. This is, will be our geometry. Okay. And let's revisit what we're going to do. So there will be a little bit more, uh, advanced than the first one. So this is our AMET body. Okay. This is a standard geometry. Then our, our domain will looks like this. And basically as you recall the first video, we did this. Okay. Pretty much very easy, very standard. So now we're going to add these refinements on, okay, that we're going to export. Then we're going to add these two refinement regions. So if you have done this case, you will see that here you have some vortices. So we want to capture better those vortices. If you haven't done this one, you will see that in this video. But besides these actions, also we're going to add see that this region here, this surface here, we're going to extract also this surface and we're going to add more refinement there. Okay. So we're going to have volume refinement, surface refinement, besides all those standard options that we have in the snappy explanation. So I already saved the file. So if you are not familiar with some shape and this video is not about on shape, but probably we're going to prepare some other videos, just right click here, then you export and here you can choose the format, STL and so on. Okay. So I already exported everything. I will go to here to my project in on shape. So remember that you can create a new project or you, you can open an existing one. Okay. So let's, I will keep in my new pro in the existing project, the AMIT body, not the base case, but to one, create a new one. So I will go here and see that we have the previous cases that we just run in the first video. So now let's do, you can right click here. So see that just to point out that this icon here means this is a mesh, this is a simulation. And this number here means that you have a finished simulation. You have a result here, there. So there you have kind of a summary. So you can right click here to duplicate this one, or you can create a new, a new app. So I can duplicate this one and use the same case that I have here, or probably outload new geometries or I can create a new one. Okay. So just to show you to duplicate this one. So let's say I click there, right click duplicate and see that now right click again. And then let me re rename it and let's call no, duplicate B1. Okay. So here I have this one and I can double click and I will enter in the previous case. So all the previous setup that we just did, we have it there. Okay. So let's, let's make it a little bit more complex. This one here, and let's start from, from this one now. So see that we already have the background mesh, but I can upload another geometry. So for instance, let me go here and let me cancel this box there and let's say upload. Okay. Uh, I already have <clears throat> everything here. So let's say that I would like to upload this one. This one represents now the refinement zone. Okay. So see that we have it there. Let's upload the other one. Okay. So I, uh, you can load all the files at the same time, but I prefer to do it one at a time, huh? just to verify everything and see that you have it there. You can see the files here. So let me expand here a little bit and let me hide there. And this is what we have. And now let me upload. Okay. Let me load the other one. Okay. We have it there. And finally, let me update that surface. Let me upload that surface that here. I call it faces one. 
okay so this is it okay so we loaded all the geometry see that is super easy okay let me hide so always remember that here you can browse all your objects and here let me i i don't want to see the mesh and okay and let me go here edge refinement let me cancel all these edges this one here we don't need it for the moment remove okay so let me remove So when you see there an LC it means that you are applying an edge refinement. We don't want that. Okay, so if we go here, see that we have our geometry. Let me hide my here I have the previous features. Now when I duplicate it, I cancel the features. So see that this is our geometry. Okay, and let me hide this one and this one here. So see that this blue region, as I told you, represents you now that surface that we're importing where we're going to refine better the mesh. So see that, and here we're going to add a surface refinement. Okay, so now that we have an idea of our geometry, now let me bring back everything here. So let me go here and I can change transparency of that one. Okay, and let me go here, the two and here. Okay, and this is it, okay? We have this geometry, and also let's bring back the mesh, okay? So we have there the mesh, the background mesh, so previously we defined the coordinates. So this coordinate here also, I got the reference from the coordinates here in my domain. So I put it there, then you can give a cell size here, and automatically will compute it. But also remember that you can click here and see that you can pull in okay so it's quite easy so let me bring back this was minus two and this one i think it was minus three probably so let me check here put it there and actually yes minus three so this is our domain i'm happy with this one material point remember that it needs to be inside the the geometry but outside the stl so see that you have there you have it there okay So let me hide also those refinements. So, so if I hide that one, see that you can move it or you can input there the geometry. Okay, so now this being said, let me, okay, everything looks fine. So see that we're following our workflow, you no, know, the standard workflow that we use to create the geometry. So let me see here that sense that there's some transparency there. Okay, so now that we have the material point, we can capture the edges in the geometry. So see that every geometrical entity that we upload, you see it here, but we're only interested in capturing that here in the AMIP body and probably also in phases one, okay? So let's go here and let's start to, to hide a little bit just to visualize, visualize better sense and also this one. So basically I want to select this one, okay? that geometry and I want to extract the edges, okay? The edges where I want to capture there, this chart angle. So you can do it here, okay? There are two methods, okay? I will show you the method that I like to use, all the explicit methods. So here you have this feature, extract feature edges. Then here you have the auction. Remember, this is the angle auction. So, so you increase the angle, if you put it 280, you are going to capture all features. So let me show you that like if I put 170 apply see that you have there those lines there those are all the feature edges and see that if i put on a smaller value i will capture different features so see that i don't capture that line there and if i put something less than 90 degrees clear i'm not going to capture anything in this case so let's say that 170 in this case is fine let me put it here 170 apply okay okay let's see reset and okay since that give a problem let's redo it i don't know what happened so science can happen click there and 170 okay now it's working and see that i have my features there here you can 
change the thickness of those tubes and see that you have it there. So if you are happy with this feature, so later I'm going to show you some other advanced options because now I can click in these features and let me increase here. Okay, and you will select everything, see that, and then you can apply refinement in a selective way. But this one, see that, where everything that is blue corresponds just to a single selection. But also we can apply a second filter in this one to subdivide it and have you no know, split these edges if you want to go into more details. But usually this works well. Okay, so if you are happy with this one, okay, uh, these features, okay, let me select all the features here, save all features. Okay, and now see that we have it here, apply. So L0, when you see it, always L, means that you are applying a refinement level. So we're applying a refinement level. In this one, L0 means that force the measure to capture those sharp angles. Okay, in the same way, also, we have that face here in the back, okay? So let me go here and let's hide this. Okay, so, bam, bam. Okay, so I hide there all the features, okay. And I was mentioning that we have this face here also. Okay, so we could also extract those features there and let's do it. But remember that we already have those features in the, in the, in the, <coughs> in the, in the geometry, in the AMET body geometry. So let's do it, okay. Faces and see that apply and see that with 120 is only capturing this angle there, so let's increase this one. Okay, so usually it's a trial and error, it's a fast operation, 170, 150 didn't do anything. And actually this case, yes, as it is not close, it's not going to capture all the others. So see that we need to put 180 there just to capture, but it's not capturing the edges, okay. So it didn't work well, but it doesn't matter. Okay, we have no the other. We have the, the background geometry in that one. We have all the features. Okay, but let's say that I want to use that. And I put it there, say all features. Okay. Apply. And we have it here. Okay. Face is one. And again, L0. So for instance, if you are not interested in using this feature, again uh, anymore so just delete it so let's delete it in this case i don't want to use it okay it's not adding anything to to the model that we have okay and let's go back here let's visualize all this here okay so so far we have this okay i don't like this so let me go here okay And I will delete that one. Okay, so see that we have all our features there. And at this point, let me increase here a little bit. Okay, we are ready to go. Let me go there. And see there that we have it there. So see that my advice is just play a little bit with the GUI. It's like any GUI that you have used, so it's, there is nothing new. So now that we have this one, you are we are forcing this one to 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 solve those features. Now I go to surface refinement. So every surface and here just to make it easier to be to visualize easier this. Let me hide all those features. Okay, so I don't want to see the features okay okay so now all the selections that we have and you need to recall you have it there so these are set it was the refinement region so let me put it back here bring it back so it's that region here so here i don't want any refinement so let me remove it okay then tubes Recall that the tubes is just to capture now, so those vortices there. So I don't want refinement there. So by default, we, we are adding refinement not always, but that is not a big deal. You can then remove it manually. And then we have, okay, then we have the amic body import, and then we have here faces, which is this face there in the back, okay? So let me go here. And in this face here in the back, we want to add 
a lot of higher refinement. So let me put four there and see that we have four there. Then we're putting here in the amet body two. But let me put all, also four here. Remember the second number is the max level and that max level will control curvature. So in these regions where we have more curvature, we'll add more, more cells. Okay. So later we're going to see the advanced options, how to control that. So this is it. Okay. So see that it's extremely easy. Okay. You can get your geometries here, you're very easy and set up all the parameters. Then we go to volume refinement. So recall that we want to add a volume refinement and a few volume refinements. Now we want this one. So this one is called R set. So you have there. Okay. So in this case, we're not adding any default value at a refinement value. And I want to say here that in this region, okay, is a level one. Okay. So I'm happy there. And then we have the tubes. Okay, recall that the tubes, and I will put there two, and the other two also I would put two. So here you have the options inside, outside, okay, that you can add the refinement exactly as you have in your snappy uh, dictionary. And then phase, okay, we don't need to add any volume refinement, but it's one, also you can add it. So that is a technique also that we can use just to do refinement. And actually here we're missing another option, which is distance that later we're going to add it. Okay. But it's not a problem. So now we go that we have all the definition. Okay. So now I can bring back everything. Okay. Just to visualize what we're doing that now that we define all the features and also can bring probably the feature sections and so on. Okay. So see that this is what we have done. Okay. So we have our background mesh, the point location in mesh, then this green region is a volume refinement, then these two tubes volume refinement. And then there we have a refinement you know, in these lines just to capture those chart angles. And there in the face also we assign some properties. And you have everything there defined. Then we go to the boundary layer. Okay, this is now the tricky part user for that you know not all the open phone users. So here we have it. And let's say that in this case, let me add here just in the AMET body. So you click there and see that you have the options. So you have different combinations. It can be relative size, actual act, <coughs> relative size or actual size. So here we recommend you to go now for the default values. We have now calibrated these values. We have found now the, the most robust values. Okay, there is some logic behind. I'm not going into, into details no, in those values. So now that we have this, okay, I can say that we can move to the next action. Okay, this is cell zone. So recall that we can create cell zones now. We to apply, for instance, a source or to put into motion. So in this case, we don't have any of that, but later we're going to do some of the videos to show you that. And now at this point is just run. Okay. So this is up to you. Okay. What, how many processes do you want to use? So here we have access to all these options in Amazon AWS. So in this case, I will choose this machine. Okay. This is a machine that spins, uh, really fast. Okay. So I will use this one. Okay. Two cores. Happy with that one. And now I can click just run and off you go. So it's going to get the machine. It's going to move some files. And here you can see now in locks what is happening. Okay. So here you have your summary, all the steps. Okay. Here then loading data into server, moving files and so on until it's launched. The case. So it's generating the mesh. See that we already have an initial count here. It is the composing. So it's using the maximum cores that you have in, in the in the machine that you selected. So here it's using two case okay, surface B features, everything fine. Meshing, building constellation, and so on. So as you click here, you can go to the log files. So you have here all the log files, and here you can see the meshing what is happening. Okay. So eventually there are some errors. You will have all the files here, and you can you can track the error. So later we're going to to prepare also videos just to show you know in case of errors, where are those files and how to solve those errors. But well, pretty much the same as you were running the the terminal, the traditional Linux terminal. Okay. But here we have all those files, save it somewhere else. And just to bring it that it's just here, you have a storage and you have all that case and so on. 
Okay, so the case is running fine. Okay, so here also you have access to Jupyter Lab. So in a snap, it probably doesn't make sense because we cannot monitor no residuals, but probably it's running the cases we can launch here terminals, or you can open a Python notebook and put your scripts to post-process the, uh, the solution and so on. So let's see that now, the solution, the mesh is, is over, so see that check mesh, okay. So if you click here, it will go to the tab check mesh, you can check here your mesh quality, you have all patches and so on. And now reconstructing, and at this point, we're done. We have uh, valid mesh, nothing failed, it was a perfect one. And if you want here, now that you are done, show results and you, you can visualize your mesh. Okay, so this is it. Okay, so you click in your campus, canvas here just to, to eliminate the selection. And here you we can see already that we have the volume refinement there. We have also the region here. We can see also that here the, car the curvature was well captured by using that to four factor knowing in the um, body and so on. So we can go here and we can select, and this is like using part of you, okay? So you have used part of you, you know what we're doing is you haven't used part of you. Let me introduce that. You select the whole domain, okay, internal mesh, and then we can apply filters. And here we have these filters, the most basic fi filters. So here we're giving you basic uh, post-processing capabilities, no? in your web browser, but ideally you can download the case. Always see that you can download everything and then you can do more extensive post-processing locally. Okay, so let me do here this basic one and I want this plane, apply, and see that you have it there, click here. And now, for instance, you have it here and I can go select surface with meshes, uh, with, with lines and see that here we have our mesh, okay. And let me add another cut, cut plane. So let me put it normal to set here. And let me move it here. Da, 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 da. Let me put it about there. I think it's a good location. Yes. Apply. Okay. Then see that also have an automatic color. Okay. And there, there you go. So as we look at from here, there you go. So see that we have all the refinement regions that we define and this is to solve there that we have that wake and this is it. Okay. And pay attention also that here, recall that all we apply that refinement in the back region. So see there that we have it there, but it's better as we look at directly at the geometry. So the geometry is a wall. No, here the mesh, the amid body is the wall. So this represents a wall. So we bring that back. So, so far here, we cannot change the names. Okay, the names, we, we will be able to change the, the names of if, of these patches when, when we move to the next stage, but later we're going to add it also, that capability to change it here, but it's not something that is super critical. So see here that we have a finer mesh there. So for all these proposals, this is this is okay. This is quite nice. So see that we, we run, we managed to create our mesh quite fast. Okay, so at this point, remember that if you want to share this case with somebody, you can call, come here, you have here the link, just give the link, you need to also share it here to the web, be careful not to share here, allow people to start, stop, because they will, they will be able to launch to spin your your instances, your servers. Also, you can pu publish this one to the community and so on, okay? Then you have the other options that you can rename the title there. So you have a title, some settings here. You have also a view of the, of the, <clears throat> of the runs that you have done, okay? So you can get an idea how much time you have used, okay? And just to come here and let me show you advanced settings, okay? Because we, we run the simulation and as I mentioned, we have all the defaults auction or the best auctions. But if you come here in advanced settings, okay, you will get, and as you recall, all the advanced auctions that you have in Open in the Snappy X mesh. So recall that the machine is done in following three steps. So here you can select what you want to do. So for instance, might be the case that you are only interested in doing the castellation or you want to do just castellation snapping and even you can do restarting no so you get a mesh but you are not happy with the la boundary layer so you can deselect here and just do the layer addition so we're going to show you that workflow later okay because 
<clears throat> requires you no know, replicating some cases, duplicating some cases, and moving fast, but it's nothing that difficult. But we think that it's quite quite easy to do it here. Okay, we're going to just show you different auctions. Then you have here refinement the auctions. Okay, so we have our best parameters, then also snapping the layers, okay, boundary layer here, so our best parameters. So if you want to show you something, you just come here. And also for quality, our best parameters. Then in advanced control, here you have, if you want to save this option for the boundary layer, in this case, we didn't save it, but if you want, you can save it, and then you can do the post-processing just to visualize the boundary layer. And this is debugging that is going to save a lot of files, okay? So probably we can prepare a video on that, but not using this interface because it's going to save a lot of files, so it's better to do it now using the terminal, but let's see what we can do. So as you can see, very easy to use, okay? And you can become very productive. So the next step to run the simulation is you are interested in is just click here. So see that when you finish, you have it here and you need to choose your next template, okay? The next template can be anything. In our case, it will be another simulation, okay? It can be transient steady state, you can enter here and you have access to all the solvers or you can relink to the meshing tool and do remeshing when I was, Talking about restarting, this is the option that you can restart <clears throat> from here. So this is it. We are not going to do the simulation. We were we are just doing the meshing. And let's say that we're happy with this. So let's go back to our home. Okay, we have everything there. And just to show you now everything but doing from a clean app. So we did it here, duplicating this one. So we had that previous information, some garbage behind. So let's do a new application here. So create app. I want to do the mesh. And that's all. So we have it here. Let's say rename. I don't like that title. I want to call it clean mesh B1. Okay, so I can get out now here. See that you have clean mesh B1. Remember that you don't need to click save and actually there is no save button because everything is safe automatically. And here we just need to do what we did previously. Okay, upload all the geometry. So here, let me go again here and let me start to load geometers. Okay, so as I say, I like to do things one at a time because I like to visualize how things are entering into my canvas. So this is okay. Now let me load. Uh, I don't need that one. I need this one. This is the refined zone. And see that this is the refined zone. This is okay. This is what I wanted. Let me load the other one. Okay. I go here. And I have it there. This is okay. And let me go here. I put it there, and then as you want, you can load here the faces. Okay, I just will we'll load it, but I'm not going to apply anything there. So see that we have everything here, all the geometry. So let me change transparency. So we have the refinement region here, and let me put it there. So this is it. Okay, we have it there. And now at this point that we have all the geometries in our canvas, we can go and modify you now the background mesh. Okay, so let me go here and see that it's quite easy. Just push, pull there, go here, go here. And there you go. Okay, so you have it there, but let's do since properly. Okay, so if I will recall, this was minus three. And uh, let's go to the geometry now. So this is minus three, two, and five. Okay, so let me put here maximum five. This is minus two. Okay, it's zero. This is two and set here will be bam 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 will be two alts so let me go here 
and there you go so this is our box and then we can choose the dimension so if i would recall 0 0.1 0 0.1 so it's up to you okay so to do things fast 0 0.1 is okay so this is our domain material point okay so see that you have this option that automatically will put it inside you know, the, the, the box, but there is no warranty you know, that it's not going to be uh, inside that body. So sometimes it requires you know, some, some manual adjustment of that material point. So let me put it here. Okay, so that point is okay. Then edge refinement. So these are the regions where you want to add that edge refinement. So in this case, and our logic is, and let me bring back now the geometry there so yeah the refinement zone is that that pink region is all only to refine the volume so in that pink region i don't need the edge refinement so i click there and remove so recall that l0 means that you are applying a refinement of zero there so, okay so for the tubes let's use the same logic that i don't need to apply there faces i don't need to apply anything there i just need to apply it in the amet body okay so it's click there you will see your amet body so let me go here and this is the amet body where we're applying that refinement only there okay but we need to also to select the features so as i say we have two options you can go here features and this is the internal option okay so if you select this one Okay, and as you recall that in the snappy X mesh, you have that auction internally, which will be the implicit method. Okay, but we always recommend the explicit method. Okay, so let's use that one. Okay, so to use that one, you need to select your geometry. Okay, so it's here. Here you have the auction, extract X features, and then you just need to apply. And there you go. So recall that previously 120 wasn't enough. We go 170 and there you go you have it there all your features have been captured okay save features we want all the features you have it there and a level zero is okay so important here that if you leave this one here it will use that implicit implicit method okay so i want to remove that one okay i want to use this basic option okay so if you leave it there is using this implicit method with this level okay and here we are just forcing to these options that we're capturing okay so this is the method what that we recommend okay so let me recap that and actually let, let's do like that so see that we extracted the features here but i don't want to use this one i want to use the internal method so just add the refinement there features and we know that the angle have to be 170 we already visually tested previously and that's all okay we have it there then we move to regions and here you just select the regions you know the surface regions where you want to add refinement okay so i don't want here i don't want here i don't want here and i don't want here these are volume refinements this is intuitive faces is up surface refinement but in this case i would like to do my mesh that everything is for okay so there is no need to add it to add that one now recall that previously we put there four so there is no need then volume refinement choose your region so we do like in the previous case this will be one and then the tubes will be two and two and there you go your case definition pretty there everything's okay now we go to <clears throat> boundary layers and let's say that i want to add layers there three layers and for instance you want to add layers in the ground okay that we don't have it we will need to add there the plane no but you can add another plane and put it there in the ground we don't have that face here defined but select the body you have their boundary layers and remember that is if at any points you want to use different options for matching you can come here so for instance i know that this angle usually is better to have 
a larger value so i would put 170 there let me go here and change these parameters to have something a little bit more relaxed there and i want to save also all these values okay and that's all see that i adjust my auctions and at this point we don't have any cell zones and i can come here and run my simulation okay so let me go here and select my two cores so i recommend you to stick to these two machines okay there are not many cores but they pin very fast now they you you can get the resources available almost immediately instead when if you want to choose more cores that that sometimes can take time so let me in this case let me go for this one with four cores okay and at this point that's all so also here you have some options so if you want to change the decomposition but this cache it is okay let me run there and see here that we're requesting the resources here in this case we're requesting resources to amazon aws but also you can run this in uh dice hot you can run locally okay so you can deploy the lo the docker's container in your server and do everything locally so for that you need to to reach the developers so let's wait a little bit okay as i say now sometimes you choose the dependent of the num numbers machine but also the the current resource available in amazon it can take some time okay so let's wait until we get that instance in amazon okay now see that we have it okay and see that it start to move files it start starting to do all the let's say all the numerical voodoo okay or not numerical the program the, the programming would do uh, moving files and our using our templates and so on so here generating background mesh okay so let me go back here background mesh done okay so see that we have this mesh here then the composition okay so there for cores so as i say it always will use the maximum number of cores that you are using you now when you are selecting the the machines okay and at this point it is running so castellation and so on so let's wait like here create background you have the surface feature so see that we're using the internal method and here is running it's running snappy x -Mesh, so it's doing the three steps okay we enable all the steps and let's wait a little bit until we get the solution and actually we're almost done okay it was quite fast so i see that we had a very nice coverage 98 percent almost perfect check mesh is also very good mesh check mesh sent 78 so that's not a problem reconstructing unloading and now we is unloading the files to the servers and pretty much we're ready to visualize the results okay so let's wait while it loads the files so this have in mind that in this case we're working with small meshes sometimes you would generate large meshes so when you generate large meshes this might be a little bit slow but there are some other techniques you now to accelerate you know this file transfer that is a little bit more advanced but i think this is not a big deal now just waiting a little bit we're not paying for that and okay here we are so we load the, the files and now we're ready to visualize the results but before doing that just to remind you that here you can download your results locally okay it's like downloading a normal file and then you can open that using part of you locally in your computer i'm not going to go into details or let me open there so see that when you download you have the case all everything prepared so as you go into these dictionaries you will see exactly this the the options that you selected there you have it there okay and it's better now there because now you have it locally as i say it, it, it is easier to do the the post-processing locally 
Okay, and then also, well, just here you have you know, in your check mesh, you have the cell count and everything. Okay, so if you want to know how many cells, when you run check mesh, you have all that information there. And now if you click show results, we can visualize everything here in our user interface, graphical user interface. Here also we, we have you know, your statistics, okay? So we we lost that data, know that 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 we have before, but it remains here. Okay, so you have internal mesh, everything. You have also the links if you want to share data here to support and so on. Okay, remember that the next step will be bringing this mesh into the next app. So that will be addressed in the next video. But let's take a look what we have here. So let me hide there and let me show here and see that pretty much it works flawless. Okay, so see that we capture all the features, even though that we use a different auction, see that we have it there. Okay, it's in this case, we use a uniform refinement. Okay, here we have a problem here, it didn't capture here. Okay, so probably, yeah, it was, I forgot just to capture that line there, but it's not a big deal. Later, try to, as an exercise, try to fix that problem, but not a big deal here let me put a cut plane and this cut plane here and apply and surface with edges and there you go uh, let me select there I don't like that color let me use white and there you go so your refinement region here you have also the refinement region for the vortices and actually I put two there <laughs> Uh, let's see in volumes. Yeah, I used to oh, there. Okay, yeah, I thought it was using a larger one, but it's not a problem. Okay, go back there and see that the boundary layer is very decent, actually, and quite quite good. So, and these are techniques also here, at least in Snap. You know, it's a strongly recommended to to have a, a uniform surface refinement, you know, to avoid the problems when you have the boundary layer collapsing. Okay, but this is it, okay? We have here a very nice mesh that in the next videos we're going to use, okay, to run a simulation. So just to recap here, duplicate one, just we duplicated this one, then we uploaded new files, okay? And we remesh the domain and we use the explicit method here. Okay, worked really well. Instead, in this case, we started from scratch, low everything. And the main difference was that here, when capturing the, the edges, we use the implicit method. That it gave, actually gave problems, no, or didn't capture very well here in the back of the amic body. And let's see here. So, if we look at this one, okay, and show results here. See that in this case, we capture very well here. Now we explicitly defined this one and it was captured very well. Instead, in the other case, this one that we use another option. Okay, go to results. Always when you want to visualize, now just click here in results and see that as you go back to mesh, you are not going to visualize anymore the mesh. You need to click here, okay? So see that here, in this here it didn't capture well, but the rest it was captured relatively well. Okay, so yes, this is all for this video, this short introduction. We're going step by step. So the next video starting from these two, we are going to use the steady state. Later also we're going to use this steady state into a transient simulation now. So we're going to pass the solution and pretty much we're going to close now the basic tutorial how to use dice hot. Okay, later we have some more advanced stuff. So yes, this is all for this video. Thank you for your attention and see you next time. Bye.